Um, welcome everyone to this uh, breakout session about metrics. We'll discuss about metrics. My name is Daniel Izquierdo Cortazar. And thank you all for joining for this session. Uh, this, this talk is gonna take like uh, 10 minutes and then we'll have another 30 minutes for further discussions and note taking and then serve back to the, to the community. So uh, this, this discussion is, is gonna be about metrics, but not in reality. So we'll discuss uh, uh, about goals, business goals, cultural goals, and questions we all may have. So uh, indeed, I, I won't mention probably any metric, but the point is more about strategy and so on. So the first, the first question I have for the audience for today is think for a while about the most important metric for you. So we are, uh, we are in, this, in this room uh, probably from 10 to 20 people. And if we think about this, probably we are, we are having 10 or 20 different metrics, right? So for some of you it might be uh, performance related metrics like the time to close or the time to merge. In some other cases, we'll look for specific metrics related to collaboration, right? About how many newcomers are joining my business unit projects, uh, perhaps some other related to reusability. So, this question is probably not the most accurate one, and we should go to this one. So what are the cultural goals you are trying to achieve? Because by cultural goals, this is what we are trying to, to do in our inner source journey, right? So we are trying to foster collaboration, be more transparent, or be more communicative. So what we are trying to achieve in reality, the questions that we need to, to ask ourselves is about these cultural differences and cultural goals that we are all trying to, to reach out. So the question related to those, to those uh, specific goals is how do you measure success, right? So this talk of today and these ten minutes, five ten minutes is gonna be this, it's, it's gonna be around this uh, this most more strategy related stuff. So we are talking about a goal question metric approach, which is one of the strategies that I would like to bring to this discussion today to the breakout room, um, and having this uh, way of structuring information and and business goals or cultural goals is pretty useful. And it has been useful indeed in my, my personal career and in my years in, in Viteria as co-founder and, and director of consulting. But I think it's been, uh, uh, we've, we've fostered interesting discussions uh, at, at the Inner Source Commons and, and other communities. We'll see some resources later at the end of the talk. So the goal question metric approach is about um, matching uh, the goals that we all have in our minds uh, as this uh, collaboration or reusability or transparency or communication into and land those goals into specific metrics. So if we think about the goal of collaboration, perhaps the final metric that we may all discuss about is how many newcomers we are having uh, in the different projects that are coming from a different business unit, right? Or maybe if we go about uh, transparency, maybe we may have another metric related that is um, how many people are talking in the open or how many design meetings are we having in the open where everyone is welcome to join. So the idea is we have the different business goals that we are trying to achieve perhaps in the short term or medium term goal, as for instance, uh, this, this collaboration or transparency. And then we have a bunch of questions that are related to this. So uh, the first one of the first metrics that we may have if we go as an example for collaboration is um, how many newcomers we have in our uh, inner source initiative. And perhaps the second question is how many newcomers are coming from a different business unit. And even perhaps a third question is how many of those newcomers are currently uh, reviewing code for a project that is not from uh, their specific business unit, right? And then we can, we can dig a bit more into, into this different set of questions in the, during the, the discussions in the breakout room. But, it, but this is the way that you can help yourself when doing when doing this this kind of approach and then at the very end as you can see on the right side of the slide is the list of metrics so for each of the questions we have a bunch of metrics and then for each of the goals we have a bunch of questions uh, it's not only this but uh, we, uh, we we can have this in our minds as well this plan do check act where uh, the idea is to embed into your uh, policies that you are defining some specific kpis to measure that success. So then we go to the, one of the first questions of the talk, right? How do you measure success? And this is something I would like to, to discuss with you during today's uh, breakout room as well. So what are you, what are you doing? Are you, are you looking for quantitative data? Are you looking for um, specific uh, qualitative in the sense of interviews with, de with developers, perhaps uh, surveys and so on? 
So, well, in any case, uh, following this plan to check act, the idea is at the, at, the plan, at the plan level, we define certain policies. But then at the same time, we are defining the metrics, the questions and metrics that will help to identify if we correctly achieve the goals that we were following with this new policy. So perhaps we are trying to apply a policy related to uh, improving performance in the, in the code review process uh, through, I don't know, maybe we, we are interested in training new code reviewers or, or helping newcomers with specific trainings. So is this policy currently working? So then uh, we may have some specific metrics or KPIs that we may define. So when we apply the policy after a while, perhaps a quarter or a year, then we check if that policy is currently working and this is according to our expectations, perhaps we defined in the previous case or in the previous scenario or well, basically in the planification time, uh, the KPIs that will help to, to identify this. And then at the very end, if the policy uh, played great, then that's good. So then we need to act. What's, what's the next step? What's the next cultural goal that we'll try to, to improve? If not, probably we need to tune a bit the, the policy and try to improve certain areas and then recheck again the metrics and how they are working. So this is all for kind of the framework for today and for the discussion for metrics. So we are all aligned and synchronized and using some common vocabulary. I would like to learn from you definitely what you are doing and so on. So let's share all together some, uh, some resources that might be worth exploring after this presentation and well after the summit so there is there is a book specifically focused on on metrics so you you have the link here at inner source uh, there at innersourcecommons.org slash resources slash books and then uh, the youtube uh, summit sessions uh, that we have from the uh, summit that took place in in april and the other one that took place in october so there were several talks that uh, they were focused on metrics. So I recommend you that you have a look at, at them. Another resource is Chaos Community, which is uh, the acronym for Community Health Analytics for Open Source Software. Uh, I, you can see Inner there uh, because basically the same infrastructure that it's been used in, in open source is, is partially used in, inner, in, in, in internal projects or inner source projects, right? So we can think of um, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab, Atlassian Stack, and some others as Slack or Mattermost or or any of these tools. So chaos is about uh, having this kind of discussions, really metric oriented. And there are indeed some people uh, bridging the community between inner source commons and chaos. So we can discuss about chaos as well. So you can uh, learn a bit more about chaos in chaos.community. Um, yes, remember, so inner source commons is about the use of open source best practices for uh, software development within the confines of an organization. And what we are trying to measure is the success of these specific policies in our own corporations. So thank you all for your time for these five, 10 minutes, and let's go with the discussion. Thank you for your time.